Laser are too recent. Aidan Moffat catches up with us now, and well, it's always great to have a little pre-season sit down with somebody like yourself. There's a lot to talk about, a lot to cover, and the, the first thing that everybody's going to notice about you this year is a change of colour scheme. A lot of white in the cat. Looks nice and fresh. What do you think of it? I thought we were going to change your colours because my highlights well, have came out. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to go over here. Later. First thing. Got second. Yeah, second. Yeah, we've got the, the new livery this year. There's uh, still Laser Tools racing, obviously. Uh, we've kept a lot of the characteristics about the livery the same with uh, the chevrons, the, the stripe. But yeah. we've we, yeah, we just fancied something different. We've, I've been with Laser four or five years now. Um, we'll find out which one exactly. You can edit the other one out. Um, but going back to the Chevrolet Cruze, it was uh, black before the blue, um, and, it, and it has been for the past four or five years. So, just fancied something fresh, something new. Obviously, we're um, we're running it all in house this year, doing doing the whole um, operation ourselves. And yeah, it was it was nice to come out with something new for um, for for everything that's changing for us. It's your fifth test this year. How are things going in the car? Yeah, the car feels good. Um, we've we've done a lot of development over the the winter. Um, with having the car at our own um, facility in Livingston, even though I'm for race and restoration, we've, we've put a lot of work in. We've, we've stripped the car to a bare shell, um, completely rebuilt it from the ground up. We've, the, our engineers uh, from Hetzlethrow and Racing and based out in Milan, they've been doing a lot of, kind of simulation work, um, looking at the way that we do set the car up. And that, along with our, um, the development we've put in over here, um, it's, everything's looking very positive. Everything seems to be going in the right direction, and uh, yeah, I think it'll be a, a, a good year for us. Is it the same crew chief you're, you're keeping for this year? NASCAR crew chief. Is it the same <laughs> engineer <laughs> you're keeping for this the year? Same engineer, yeah. yeah. Um, Federico from Hexathron Racing, he's always worked with us, but um, it's, a, it's the same company that looks after all the, all the Mercedes. Um, but yeah, F Federico's been my, my personal engineer for, yeah. for three years now. I'm um, working with him again, and we've, yeah, we've got a great relationship. We know how each other work, and we, we work very well together. So he's back on board. We've got most of the team are the same. Before we had, um, we tended to take over the running of the car yeah. come the race weekend. Yeah. Um, the kind of the car showed up. Uh, we worked, we all worked together, but now we're we're doing everything ourselves. So a lot a lot of the people are the same. We've um, we've took on new people to who are based at the Laser Tools Racing in Livingston yeah. for all the, the pre-race preparation, but it's uh, pretty much the, the same team. OK, 2019, it's, it's a big year. You've done, you've done winning, you know, but can the winning continue and can it be more frequent this year? Yeah, well, I mean, that's the aim, is consistency. That's where we've been let down. I mean, after, the, I think, the first three or four rounds last year, we were sitting sixth in the championship. Uh, and then we get to that middle point of the, the season that we, we tend to struggle. The, the car is not as well suited to those tight technical tracks like your, your Croft, um, Alton Park. Unfortunately, not kill, because it's uh, doing great not kill is always special being the local track. But um, a, lot of our, a lot of our time is going into trying to make the car more consistent and a, yeah. a championship contending car. And that's what we're really looking at working on. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited for this year. It's the, the most I've ever been up for it, the, the hungriest I've ever been, Good. the most focused I've ever been. And I, I know the car, the car is going to be a lot better, so I'm confident. You've got a big fan base. The Moff has got a big fan base. There's a lot of love out there. What has the interaction over the winter been like with your fans on social media? Yeah, it's been good. It's always good. It's a, it's a great thing having a good fan base. I mean, when you... Being involved in touring cars is that the fans are what makes British touring cars so special. Um, I, I remember coming to races to watch them and just that adrenaline from the the, the, the buzz, uh, the, the atmosphere, it's, uh, it's a special feeling. So, I mean, there's, there's no feeling like it when you stand on that top step and look out to all the fans cheering. It's uh, a, a feeling I'll never get bored of. So, yeah, it's great, it's great having a, a good following people want, wanting you to achieve and it definitely spurs you on to do well. So there we go. Keep your eyes out for Aidan Moffat in the number 16 Laser Tools Racing Mercedes. Only a couple of weeks away from round number one and that's going to be at Brands Hatch. Can Aidan come away with a pole? Can he come away with a win? Or maybe even two? Good luck, buddy. Or three. Or three. Never know. Jesus, man. Didn't he be greedy? Two. Yes. <laughs>